So we're in a bit of a uh, busier place here. I don't know if you can see that. And then a main street here. <laughs> so it's a little bit noisy. Hopefully the audio is okay. You can hear me. But uh, one of the main topics that comes up for us is will living overseas give you an accent? I can unequivocally say no. I've lived overseas at various parts of my life for extended periods of time and never picked up an accent. So uh, I can sort of say it's not going to happen, though I, there's lots of um, circumstances or lots of uh, uh, examples where people have picked up a uh, picked up an accent. Um, I I don't think that's actually the case. I think it's a bit of um, wishful thinking to be polite. I find it cringeworthy, and I I don't like um, I don't like that situation. I have no idea what's happening with all these motorbikes coming through here now. Ridiculous. So um, no, I don't think living overseas will give you an accent. Um, it's actually better not to bung on the local accent uh, when you're overseas because you're always an outsider and you'll never be an insider because culturally you're different, you have different values, you, diff you have different expectations. So being an outsider, having a foreign accent, you're going to be afforded a lot more opportunities than say someone who is considered a local. Because there's higher expectations there. You're meant to know what the social uh, norms are. And you can break social norms without even realizing it. So people will just say, ah, oh, it's just a stupid foreigner. Whereas if you try and portray yourself as a local, you're going to have very little leeway when it comes to getting the graces to make mistakes. In context to being back in your own home country and amongst family and friends and, um, and colleagues, don't put on a fake accent. Uh, not only is it embarrassing, but it's actually cringeworthy for people that have to listen to you. <laughs> so don't do it. I've had a few situations where people have put it on and I've just shook my head. So um, it makes me want to run the opposite way, to be honest. So don't, uh, don't do that, just don't. Uh, people know if you've been overseas and they certainly want to listen to the stories and uh, experiences that you've had, but you don't have to put on an accent to, uh, to do that. So don't, just don't do that. All right, so subscribe to overseas-exile.com or davealista.org and uh, you'll receive lots of updates and hints and tips, uh, particularly if you're wanting to uh, move overseas at the moment or you want to save a lot of time and energy and you want it to make it a streamlined process. I know I do. So I'll send you a PDF with a lot of information and resources that you'll need if you're thinking of relocating overseas or becoming a digital nomad. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the subscribe button here and um, keep in touch, send some uh, comments down below and uh, yeah, we'll go from there.